Hi there, this is Manny. Just giving a quick update on the uh, 72 C10 pickup. Uh, we are doing a lot. We're making good progress on the truck. These are the parts that we have left. Uh, a couple brake calipers, um, some on it, odd and end brake parts, uh, suspension. Most of this is empty boxes. We already got stuff on there. Uh, I've got the inner fender still, but we're waiting until we wrap up the uh, under hood stuff before we put those fenders in. Uh, got the rotors, so we're getting ready to grease them up so we can stick them on the car with the new seals and get those new rotors on there. This is your old stuff. You can see it's in pretty bad shape. Here's the old master cylinder. Got some pretty good credit rusty uh, fluid in there. But, um, I said uh, show you what we've done on the truck so far got the uh, the new shocks on it kind of see them down there on the backs got the shocks on the front cleaned up the spindles got the shocks on there got the steering box the new power steering box is installed with the new pitman arm Got the hoses uh, hooked up to the power steering pump. And uh, we got all the new pulleys on there. Uh, we did have to put an alternator on it. The alternator was bad, was not charging. And the bracket for the alternator was broken. I sent the photo of that before. And uh, so we had to put a new bracket on there, new alternator. Got all my belts on there. Uh, new fan pulley, spacers for the fan. We got the power brake booster installed and the master cylinder getting ready to hook up all the lines to it. Uh, the new distributor is back there. It's kind of hard to see. <clears throat> getting ready to wire it up with the spark plugs. Uh, the new carburetor. This is the new Edelbrock carburetor. And uh, fuel pressure uh, gauge so that we can monitor pressures from the fuel pump. We went ahead and shot the motor while we had everything off. Just kind of clean it up. Spray painted the uh, headers in high heat uh, black on the exhaust manifolds. So, oh uh, yeah, we're looking real good here. It's looking uh, like a different truck. Like I said, we'll keep uh, moving forward with the parts. Like I said, we got to put on the uh, tie rod ends, mount everything up. But like I said, uh, just kind of working down the list, getting everything ready for the uh, new brakes on the front side of this truck. Uh, we have all your old parts kind of sitting here. Um, up to you if you want me to put them in the back so you can take them with you. <clears throat> But uh, anyway, I wanted to kind of show a video of, of where we're at on it. So you make sure you saw that we've got everything parts wise here. We're just got to get everything connected and wrapped up on it. Then we'll get it up and running, get it up and driving and get it on the road. Um, some items because we had to add the uh, alternator. Let's see here. There was a couple of things. Um, we had to add the uh, water pump spacer tie rod couplers. Uh, they didn't. They were stripped out on the on the old ones, so we had to put some tie rod couplers on that uh, alternator. Alternator bracket. Oh, the freeze plugs. Um, the freeze plugs that it had were leaking uh, when the truck was setting before we even started on it, and that was going to be a problem for you. So we went ahead and replace the uh, the freeze plug right there, which had a temporary plug in it. And then there's one back there behind the uh, power steering pump that we also put in. And uh, they have a, um, they had a rubber freeze plug in there and they work temporarily, like if you're in an emergency, you're trying to get somewhere, but you don't want to have those in there for long term. Um, trying to see if I have that old freeze plug. I'll, I'll turn it up and then make sure to show it to you. But uh, the old freeze plug was was leaking. And uh, so we had to do that as well. Then um, 
those were the extra parts that I had to add to the uh, to the estimate. So you're looking at about $250 in parts. So I wanted to make sure I was sticking with your uh, with your budget. And as I added some of these items to it, we probably ought to discuss if there's anything you want me to take off the list. <clears throat> I kind of marked some of the things in um, in yellow that we can look at, like the gas tank. Um, the gauge doesn't work. I don't know if you want me to address that right now, but that could be a savings of, um, you know, a couple hundred dollars. The uh, inner fenders are $200 in labor. If that's something you want to do, we can take that off of the, um, off the estimate and put that money towards the alternator and some of the mechanical that kind of popped up as we were working on it. Reverse lights are not critical. Shift light indicator is not critical. Uh, the door fit, again, that can be another couple hundred dollars that you may want to address, like the bed uh, hardware. We can address this at some later date um, and save you another two, three hundred dollars there. So maybe a savings of about six or seven hundred if we take some of these items off of the list that uh, that we had to do, like the freeze plug to replace both of the freeze plugs was 262. <clears throat> and then the uh, alternator bracket was broken, uh, replaced that uh, with a new one and the new alternator. And that was another 262 in labor. So, you know, you're looking at about 500 uh, and $10, $15 there that was in extra labor. So I'm always trying to be conscious of your budget uh, when we talk on the phone, we can discuss uh, if there's any adjustments you want to make to these items so we can reduce that overall uh, that overall bill. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update, let you know where we're at. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. This is Manny with Classic Auto Repair.